What's up guys, welcome back to Atlas. I'm going to be doing a speed build of a new barn I want to build from a new base down here in K5. You can see there I've got the lighthouse in now and um, since the last video I've also got the rooftop terrace garden type thing all growing now. Got some wheat, some maize, some beet and some uh, turnips growing up there. But like I said, we're going to be doing the speed build for a new barn I want to build for some sheep and some pigs. And also going to have a um, small breeding room attached to the end of it as well. And hopefully it will have a barn type feel to it um, and be a separate build into the main base which we can see there. And then later on I want to build to the right of where this is going to be another animal enclosure for the larger animals. And also to house any additional animals I will eventually have stored here. And um, yeah, once all that's done, we'll be moving on to build the docks, but obviously that'll be in a separate video along with obviously the uh, second enclosure. And um, yeah, that'll be the base ready to rock and roll. Then going to get some shops and stuff on here and start trading properly, hopefully. Uh, during my little break from doing the main sort of videos I normally do for Atlas. So um, yeah, anyway, I'm not going to waffle on any more. Like I said, the rest of this video is going to be a speed build. Um, I will jump in and say a few things if I decide I need to during editing, but um, yeah, probably won't, so I'll probably speak to you later, but enjoy the video guys, if you do like these build videos and um, the, you know, the speed build type things I've been doing, leave a comment and let me know, and um, don't forget to like the video, and um, yeah, I'll keep making more of them, I really enjoy doing these, it's, you know, fun to, um, you know, sort of test your creativity and play around with the building stuff, I do love building things, it's, uh, it's well documented. <laughs> anyway, I've waffled on even more than I was going to, I'm going to get on with the video, so enjoy it guys and I'll speak to you later.
go guys, the finished barn all ready to rock and roll. Been and got all my sheep and my pigs and my cow and a uh, bonus bear to go in here just for the look. Uh, got my feeding troughs in and there you can see all the sheep in their little pen back there. And um, yeah, it's just a nice way to keep them organised. Get some free hide just by shaving them, <laughs> that's always handy. Got my light switch over there and my uh, storage box with some a little bit of thatch for the fertiliser and uh, to keep my tools that I need for in here like my scissors. You can see my pigs. And if we come in here you can see you've got plenty of room to shear your sheep, collect all the hide off them. And I don't know whether you can increase the amount of hide you get per sheep uh, with any stats or anything like that. but. Um, you get 200 per sheep as far as I know and it's uh, yeah, just a nice little addition to a base to have the sheep right next to you and um, yeah, free hide. Who are going to grumble at free stuff? And moving on over to the other side, we've got the um, pigs all parked up and uh, they poo quite often anyway but if you don't know you can force them to poo in the radial menu and uh, click in on poop and they will let out a little bit of poop for you and you use the poop with a bit of thatch to make fertilizer and then you use your fertilizer in your crop plots hence why um, i've got the barn set up because i'm going to need the fertilizer to keep my rooftop terrace tops up and then moving up through these doors into here we've got the breeding room this is where i'm going to be able to breed a few bears or any of the smaller animals we've got the um, ice box there if we need to cool them down and we've got the fires to obviously warm them up. I think that setup's going to work. I'll change it as I go, but I feel like that's a nice little setup to um, be able to manage the temperatures. So yeah, got a little breeding pen in there. And there we go, guys. That's the barn complete, all built, all painted, and filled with animals. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Like I've said before, when I'm building things, I never have a set goal. I just um, go with it and see what comes out the only thing I had with this one was that I wanted it to look like a barn and um, yeah I think that's how it's turned out I really like the look of it you know it's not massive um, this is just for the sheep and the pigs I've got like I said for um, you know easy life type thing and um, there's a bit of additional room in there if I want to put some horses in there or like we've got ginger bear in here and um, I could always modify it later to have extra sheep or pigs in there and obviously we've got the breeding room at the end for the smaller animals like the bears and sheep and pigs if we decide to breed them and like I said earlier I'm going to build another um, animal pen type thing to the side of this for the bigger animals and um, yeah that will be this done then we'll add the docks down below the cliff and I'm um, hoping to have some sort of um, stairs going down from just outside here off the cliff down to where the docks gonna be and um, yeah that will about finish the base off really if I come out to this view actually where I'm standing yeah, I'd like to some steps going down towards the water from here or something like that. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think to the base. And like I said earlier, let me know if you enjoy these videos and I'll make some more. But anyway, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like it. I'll see you next time.